Hi, this is Jim Clary with airmodtraining.com. I want to welcome you to this video that um, one of my associates, Sarah, has put together where we go over how to install the example as well as describe it. Now, a little bit of introduction here. This example is an is a example that we have generated and we will use it throughout the videos to demonstrate the different components of the AirMod system that you saw under one of our earlier videos where we went over uh, what is AirMod. Also, we'll, uh, you will be able to download all of the input files that you will need and Sarah explains how to to do all of that. Um, it's a little bit uh, detailed in how to do it, so I do suggest that you either use multiple screens if they're available or you can flip back and forth, but uh, uh, you can certainly use the pause button liberally on the video as well as the backspace as needed, but would suggest that you um, follow along with it. When you complete this, you'll have all of your software and um, input files downloaded, installed in your computer, and be ready to start going through the different components of AirMod. So, get your typing fingers ready, and um, I'll let uh, Sarah bring this to you. Thank you. I'm Sarah with AirModTraining.com. Our instructional videos are going to walk you through the steps needed to complete an AirMod run for an example facility. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to our example facility and show you how to set up the file structure needed to complete the AirMod run. Our example is based on a small fictional facility located in Colorado. This facility is located in a rural area surrounded by mountains. We have two generating units, which are considered point sources, and each unit has a stack that is 35 meters tall. There are two buildings and one circular fuel storage tank on the property, and the property is surrounded by a fence that restricts public access. The input and batch files, as well as the file structure needed to run our example, can be found at airmodtraining.com under the Downloads tab here. We have two versions available for you, the first option comes with all of the executables needed to run our example run. We're including the executables to make it as easy as possible for you to recreate the example run. And we do not guarantee that these files are the most recent version of the programs, so if you're running the model for regulatory purposes, please refer to EPA's SCRAM website to ensure that you're using the most recent release. The second zip file will not contain the model executables and you will be responsible for downloading them. If you prefer this option or if EPA issued a new version of one of the models and you need the most recent release, please refer to our video that shows you where to find and how to download the executables. The easiest option and the one that we would prefer is to go with the download that includes the executables. So click on the download button and you will be prompted to enter your name, and your email address and agree to the terms of the example and then you will also need to agree to the software license agreement because we're including the air grid executable in this as well. Then click the button to submit to AirMod training and right click on here to download the example. Go to save target as. You can set up your project anywhere on your computer but it's best to start with a blank drive like this but an empty folder will also work. So then hit save, and then we'll do that for the executable zip file as well. When the files are finished downloading, you need to extract the data. Right click, extract all, and it actually already is contained in the example one folder. So just back that up and hit extract and we will do this for the exe zip folder as well. Okay, you should see an exe folder and the example one folder, and you can delete 
these zip files now. To run our test case as is, you're going to have to have your file structure set up in this way. And after you get comfortable with running the model, you can move these folders around as you wish. And all your files for each project should be located under one main folder like this. It makes it easy to organize and zip your files later. The executables are located in the exe folder. There's a separate folder for each executable. Each folder ends with the program's version number so you can reference it quickly. Going into the main project folder, each of these subfolders contains an input file and a batch file. The input file typically ends with .imp and the batch files will end with .bat. The batch file is a text file that contains commands normally typed into a command prompt. An AirMod and its pre and post processors are typically ran using batch files because it's easier to call the programs and copy any files needed to run the program. The input files will be discussed in each program's respective how-to videos. And we also include the output files here so you have something to compare your own files to when you're finished running the model. Now that you're familiar with the example facility and you have the file structure set up, we can go run each component of the modeling system. If you run into a problem with any part of your AirMod modeling project, we offer online AirMod training help that you can purchase from airmodtraining.com. During our session, you'll be able to ask us any question related to your AirMod modeling project. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, AirMod Training, so you'll be notified when we upload any new videos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.